Hello Internet, my name is Ace and welcome to the lonely world of the 1960s. So in this Mickey Mouse series, you can go back and see there's a link to the playlist uh, below. We're going all the way back from 1920s, 1928 with Plain Crazy and Steamboat But Willie all the way up to the modern day. Now we're at the 60s. 60s was a rough time for Mickey Mouse because, well, Walt died in... 66 I think uh, he was 65 years old the theme park was doing really well uh, Mickey Mouse Club was still on but um, the as for like shorts and, and stories and things like that there wasn't really anything in the 60s with Mickey Mouse in it because all the feature films uh, were just they were just blowing up the theaters they were doing so well that um, they kind of put Mickey on the back burner for like 20 something years like it was a long time where there was not a lot of Mickey um anyway there was a book that was released in 1960 one of the Disney little golden books I think it was one of the little golden books and that was um Donald Duck Lost and Found it's got some great illustrations in it it's, it's really great stuff and anyway we're going to draw Mickey from that but this there's, there's some great stuff in there like um I know we've been Starting all the Mickey drawings with a circle, building off there, etc., etc. But this one, we're actually going to start with an oval. And what I am going to do is I'm just going to draw an oval and then I'm just going to rotate it because drawing on this thing, uh, I can't rotate the actual uh, thing around like I could a piece of paper. So I was doing a piece of paper. I would just um, just rotate the piece of paper and draw the oval like that. Right, okay, so that's like a rough kind of approximation of the oval. We can fatten it out a little bit. Maybe went a little bit too thin with it. But we, we just want an oval, really. Yeah, maybe went a little bit too too thin. That feels about right. So it wants to be on this kind of angle like that. So um, what I will do is I'll soften these marks so you can so there's not too many sketchy lines. Let me just grab this softer razor. Just back that down. Like so. So it's it's not just it's not getting like overly complicated. I'll just go over a little bit, right? So <clears throat> uh, Mickey, like I said, had a rough few years. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do for the seventies next year, but uh, next year, next week, sorry. But I'll have a look. So yeah, so we've got this oval that's on this kind of angle. Right. So I like to do the big shapes first, as you know. So what I'll do is I'll kind of draw a line of action in, which is it's going to be something like that, I imagine. And this Mickey, let me just move him up slightly. This Mickey is maybe like nearly three heads high, something like that. So what we'll do is we'll copy the head. Let's duplicate that like we normally do. Let me just rub all this extra stuff out. Sorry. Right, all like that. Let's copy that head. Then let's move the head down. So there's two heads high. There's three heads high. He's not quite three heads high. He's he's kind of... Um, let me just rub that line of action out so we've got this comparison for the heads. So there's three head tie. It probably comes more like two and two thirds because the, because of the perspective that it's at. So what we're going to do is we're going to come uh, out with the with the line of action. So his chest is, is going to be kind of pushed forward slightly. Come down. Let's kind of tuck in like that. Something like that. There's something not right with my tablet at the moment for some reason. It's not. It's not drawing right. Right. So we've got our kind of big shapes in there. So let's throw it in the ears. Now we just need an oval that's going to cut into this top circle slightly. 
so I'll just slow down a little bit with it because like I say my pen doesn't seem to be working very well so we've got this kind of shape here and this bottom one is actually a, a smaller shape but what I'll do first is what I always do for, I, I f always forget to, well not always but sometimes forget to draw these things I don't normally draw like this but let's break things into quarters midway is about there somewhere probably let's break this into quarters so you can measure things so this is going to come down to maybe roughly halfway like like we have it there going to come slightly off the head and it's slightly to the left then we have the lower one and the lower one is going to start just just under halfway and it's going to kind of feel like it's flopping down somewhat now it's not going to come as close as to this thing I wouldn't imagine so let's flop it down like this and this one is actually normally the bottom ear is the biggest because it's closest to us but this one is actually the smaller ear it's not coming out as far as this right so we have Mickey essentially now so we need to block in things like his um, his his arm which what we can do is we'll basically follow this when we're, when we're adding the full form in but we're going to go to about here and down slightly. So we've got this kind of arm position. Then up top, he's actually going to be... So that's going to feel like it's, it's in there. So this one's going to be like... Probably something like this. Because he's going to be looking up at his hand. And this comes out maybe... Let's say this is the width of the head. Well, no, let's say that it definitely is the width of the head. And that's probably about the same. It's going to come to about there. Let's let's trace this across. Let's really um, worry about our um, construction now. And let's let's kind of get an, an oval in here for his hand. So it's going to tuck into this, this, square, this uh, section somewhat. It's going to come round. It's going to be something like this, I, I imagine. So it's going to be, like I say, it's going to be looking at this thing here. So we need his muzzle. Now his muzzle's not going to come quite to this line here that we've just put in there. And it's going to drop down to maybe halfway between the, this section here. So let's draw this in. So it's going to come in. Not quite hit that. How far out is it going to come? Normally, with Mickey, things are coming out about a quarter. So it's going to be similar again. Like so. There we go. So we've got the muzzle, the head, the ears, the line of action, one of his hands. In fact, should we, we might as well stick the other hand in. So this hand's going to be quite big. So let me just get rid of this the actual placement for the hand is probably going to cut into the the head somewhat so let's stick this kind of shape let's let's just stick a big circle and then what we can do is we can we can carve into that and like carve his fingers out in here so that's what we'll do we'll just add a big circle so it's going into this into his head shape somewhat it's coming just past the halfway line, I guess, here. And it's going about nearly halfway down this second head. Not quite halfway. So we've got that placement in there, and it makes make sense to... Let's stick his arm back in. Like so. So as you can see, his body's starting to come... Well, his pose, I guess, is starting to come together somewhat. So he had... He's got one leg here, and then the other leg... Is going to attach around. So we've got this. This is the head. This is around halfway point of the head. So it's maybe going to attach to this kind of spine there. Then it's going to come out and round to maybe if we added or add 
sorry, speaking like a child. If we add the halfway point on like that, it will maybe drop round and down, something like that. That's the line of action. So we can see we've got this leg here and this leg here. I'll add a bit more of a bend into it. Like so. Then he's going to have his, his feet here and here, as you can probably guess. Right, so now we need to look at his his actual body. So we're going to... Let's take this halfway point and let's take a halfway point on the up as well. So let's say uh, that went in there. Let's take this halfway point. Then we're going to come out to this, this point here, which is going to be rough, roughly center. I mean, don't worry too much about about the how accurate that is. And what's what's going to be happening is that's going to come in, in and out like this. Like so. That's what his body's going to be doing. But this hand's obviously going to be covering, so all we're going to see is this little little bit here. Then it's coming out to again. Let's measure about here is the he a he another head um, width, and it's probably going to come to. Let me just get rid of that axis. Maybe a third of the way out, and it's just going to come slightly higher than this point here. The, this point that we created there. So it's probably going to come to around here. And what we're going to do is we're going to add, make it so it's a bit of an arc. Like so. And then the point at which this um, line intersects, we're going to kind of arc out from that somewhat. So as you can see, Mickey's body, or upper body, is now in place. Now for the lower body, or his legs, I guess you would call them, they're going to cut down like so. And when we get to this, this head here, I guess it's going to cut through like that. When you're in this head section, this is where we're going to bend round and this line of action, this line of action came a bit too far this way, but it doesn't matter because, like I say, everything's just sketching. But if we look at this original head, and we kind of brought a line down, like we're following, if this is that second head, we're following the contour of that and then bringing it round like this, like so, then it's probably going to go in like this, and let's just leave it there for now. So you can see there's a bit of structure there for Mickey. Then for his other leg, it's going to sit around there somewhere. And the kind of halfway point, which is... If, if this is the width, then the halfway point is what, around there somewhere. Where this halfway point and the, I guess, like two-thirds of the way down here... So around here somewhere. This is where his top leg is going to come down to. So it's going to be something like that. Something like that. And as you can see, we've got a huge mess at the moment of lines, but that's the way it always is. So what I might do is just soften some things up a little bit. Soften some areas up that are not overly important. But let's soften these down a lot. Okay. Right, so back to the pencil. So what we're going to do now is, let, before we worry about the... Um, in fact, no, let's let's worry about the, the legs. So his kind of crotch is going to come, like at the bottom of this second head, is going to come, cut through, and it's going to connect just we're just just kind of giving it a little line like this so it's going up slightly and around like that Could maybe come a bit further around with this knee like that so it's going to want to kind of point towards that knee joint I guess like that 
and then we're going to have like this line coming down. This line. This line's quite straight, this one. Make sure it's quite straight. Then we're going to come off there for the bottom of the leg. I'm still not sold on this section here. So what I might do is I might just grab my eraser. This is sketching. Drawing is an iterative process. So if we go wrong, that's part of the process. Let's get a bit more comfortable with that kind of shape. Right, so let's... So we've got this in here, and this is going to come... And if you if we kind of imagine an angle like this coming from this leg upwards, that's where it's it's kind of connecting. So this is coming down and actually around like so. Like this. Then we've got, you know, like at the bottom of um, your jeans or whatever, you have this and then you have this, this part here before the actual shoe. Well, that's what we're doing now. So we're adding this in. It's not, not a massive uh, thing, just a tiny little thing like this. And what we can do is add the same in around here. So we're just coming off just a little bit 3D with it. Like so. Like it's wrapping around his leg, which I guess it is exactly what it's doing. Add that bit in there where it's going to be connecting into his shoe. It'll make more sense in a second. Right, so let's go up. Let's go away from these legs for, for a while. Give them some breathing space and let's go to a let's have a look so if that was yeah that's about right let's go have a look let's go give some attention to the the face again so we we want like a just oval in here for his nose now it is a bit more of a modified oval where it's thinner at the bottom than it is at the top but we've done that on pretty much every Mickey, not all of them, but quite a lot of them. So this bit's going to come down into the face, then this bit's going to come round, and it's kind of going to connect in like that to, I guess, this is the centre point, so it's kind of halfway between these two points. It's going to connect in like that, round the offset, it's, it's quite a nice shape. Then we're going up for the smile. Now the smile, the the kind of muscles and fat that build up when you smile, that kind of shape, we're going to add that crescent shape in there, which is nearly, well it's, it's, it's the height is at the halfway point. And then it's going to come to about three quarters of the way. Then we're just going to try and find this nice angle to come in and tuck in, like, around this point here. Like, so. There we go. That feels, that feels kind of nice. So, got that angle. Then, we're going to come down through here. Going to come a little bit lower. And we're going to aim for this point around here, like halfway in this bottom quarter. And we're going to touch the circle and come back and come in from the circle somewhat. There we go. So we've got that, that kind of feeling. Now, the, the tongue is going to be really far back like this. It's going to be right in there. So all this is going to be black so this is his mouth. Then obviously he has the thick bottom lip. So we need to add that in. So just thickening it up. As it gets around the circle to this bit, this bit's thinner than this bit, which is thicker. Let me get rid of that. I've already got enough lines to confuse us. And as you can see, it's just dipping into where the hand uh, guide is like that. 
Right then, we're going to go to this part here and then just, just, just above halfway. You, I mean, you can go halfway if you want. Then we're going to come, cut just slightly into this box. We're going to come round and tuck like so. So that would be connecting down under his lip just there. But again, the hand is going to be in the way. So we can... Ignore that somewhat, but still kind of draw it in because you want to constantly know where your forms are going. Then up here, I'm going to cut through this this little part slightly. Like so. And then just cut that last bit off. Like that. So we've got this shape. Obviously all of this is going to be in black. I'll ink it all at the end like I've done with all the other Mickey Mouse videos. Just a real quick ink, nothing special. So the eyes, eyes are nice and big again. So about halfway in this, this part here. We're going to come down. And hit a natural arc right there where the nose connects. The muzzle, sorry. Like that. Try and get that so it feels like it's an oval. There we go. Then his eye, his eye is actually looking around here somewhere. So it's, it's looking just past his hand. So let's just add that pupil in like so. So again, just another elongated circle, just a slight oval. Like that, and like he had for a few of the other ones, Mickey has eyebrows. So let's add those in. I don't like Mickey with eyebrows, I prefer him without. I know eyebrows are great and expressive. You can do a lot of things with them, but... Right, we've got a little mark under this eye, like this, that kind of tucks into the muzzle, connects it all together. So his face is done think yeah his face is done and like I say you can feel like it's, it's like stretched out like on this this oval and we could have gone a little bit fatter with the oval like I said originally but it doesn't really matter we're trying to get the spirit of Mickey rather than a perfect uh, rendition I'd, we'd be going a lot slower and uh, thinking things out a lot more if we was, we was trying to go for absolute perfection so around here, we have his shoe. It's going to come round like this. And then we're going to imagine that it's going to connect here. So we've got this kind of shape like that. But this section here, which is going to come down from, from here, which is going to be the heel, that is actually... going to cut that off so we've got that kind of shape so this part here is not necessary but to get that nice shape it, it, I feel like it, it was necessary necessary construction but it's not going to be there in the final image so we can just add a little heel on there like so thicken the bottom bit out for the sole of the shoe like that, then wrap around a little, kind of like that. So there we have one of the, the feet, like that, kind of feels about right. Mickey always has these huge feet, they're sometimes awkward to draw. It's a real unique shape. But that there feels like Mickey's feet to me. So what I will do is I'll just dim that a little bit so you can see what's going on. So this part's cutting in here. It's going round like that. Then we've got this sole of the shoe coming round and tucking actually in like so. So we've got this kind of shape. Now we can bring bring that round a little bit more, just for a bit of 
bit nicer. Uh, shapes. So you're constantly thinking about shapes with illustration, especially with Mickey. There's some great shapes in there. So now we want to add this part here, which I'm guessing is kind of like it's uh, it's kind of like where his belly would sit, but it's also like a crease in the jean as well. So we've got that kind of view. Now let's do this second foot. Now in the actual illustration, this foot is obstructed by good old Donald. Oh yeah, this book, by the way, I don't know if I said the name of the book, but it's uh, Donald Duck Lost and Found. I think that's the name of it. So we've got this kind of look here. So all we need to do to get it right is to um, look at the original shoe that we have here and kind of just construct that as if as if it exists. So we've got this kind of thing in there that's going to come off like that. Like so. Now I've maybe drawn that foot slightly too big because it feels bigger than this foot which is closer to us. And I know some of the Mickey stuff is a little bit ambiguous. What I'll do is instead of redrawing it all which I normally would do to save time because these Mickey videos get pretty long. Do something like that. That, that feels uh, a lot more comfortable to me. Like that and around. Yeah, that feels that feels more more like the what I'd expect the the image to look like. Something like that. Right now, this is all on a funny perspective kind of thing like this, so that's why it's uh, it looks like it's like that. Right um, now, we've just got the arms, the hands, and he has a big pole <laughs> that he's um, that he's actually using. So what we'll do is, if you try and traditionally, you just grab a ruler. If not, I mean, you can do this freehand. De you can definitely do this freehand. And I'll be fine. So he's got this kind of like stick that's going like this. Right. So it's cutting through there. So what I'll do is I'll just bring this hand down slightly. Just so we can make that really fit like it's it's in there. Now I wouldn't do the final line work with a ruler. But it's fine to just do the guides. Uh, actually... That really tucks up right to his chin like that. Really like touches his chin. So what we'll do is we'll cut into it slightly. Just because we don't want any tangents in our pictures. Right, so this hand is going to kind of feel like it's following this. This um, oval. And then what we're going to do is we're going to carve into it around here somewhere. So, let's draw this finger. Don't worry about the about the um, pole just yet. You want to keep it in mind, but don't worry about it. So we've got this little finger coming here. Then we've got this one coming up and around like so, and connecting in there. Right, this this first one, sorry, was at more of an angle. Let me soften this. Right, so it comes down like that, then down like this, and then around. Then this finger kind of connects a little bit higher than what I had it, but pretty much where it was, and comes around like this. Then we've got the final finger, which... Just come slightly away from that oval. Just very slightly, but you could draw it on the oval. It's it'll be close enough. There we go. So we've got this. Then we've got his thumb, which is kind of gonna connect in like that. Like so. Now we need to worry about the actual uh pole. So let's draw this kind of like crescent shape in here 
upside, or like a moon laying on its back. Let's draw through here so we, we want to make it so it feels like it connects. I've got this in here, it's like a stick, so I'm going to add little sticky bits on there. Then let's come out slightly for here. Again, it's a stick, so we can add a little bit of jagginess, like so. Then, what I'm going to add in, so we've got this part here, I'm just going to add a little marking like that. It's not actually in the original illustration, but I kind of like things like that that feel like they're wrapping. Okay, so that is pretty much what we have. So we've got this stick. Then we need to imagine his sleeve is coming out from here and is going out to around around here somewhere. And then it's dropping down. And it's connecting in around here. So we've got this kind of shape like that. This is going to be his uh, his T-shirt at the back. And there is a bit of a collar sticking through here. Which just clumsy the image slightly. But, I mean, this is such a beautiful, like, stunning image. The actual original one. No, not what I'm drawing now. Not like, wow, I'm drawing a fantastic man. So we've got this here, which is like his, his chest. And then there's a little collar in here. The other collar would be in here somewhere, but it's been obstructed by... So if we look, that would connect like that. Come down and in. So it's just in his everyday casual, like, fishing gear. Well, not fishing. I don't know what kind of gear is in, actually. Right, so all we need to worry about now, I think, is this last hand, and we are done. So the arm... Is coming like so, but with Mickey, which we didn't worry about this arm yet, so let's do this. He has that part on his glove that connects round. Then there's going to be some bit more solid anatomy than is in uh, other pictures. So his arm's going to flare like so. So it's going to come down slightly. Just down slightly, arc round to not a point like that, but this kind of shape, and around, and that's that's the anatomy of his arm uh, bunching up when he's is uh, straining, I guess. The way the forearm does, if if you just bunch your your forearm up up like that, it'll have a similar feel. So this is his arm, so it's black like so, and then coming across here, we have his shirt. So there we go. So there's one arm 100% done. And then let's put a little mark on the shirt like that. That feels a little better. And then, yeah, we've got this hand to do, and that is it. So... Coming off this, let's draw a little oval coming off like this, and then around. This is this one is going to fit fit the oval pretty pretty exact. So we've got this part around here. Let me soften things like so. This part's going to come up and connect in to the thumb, which this is this part sticking out is the thumb. And this is going to be pretty much a full oval but it's is slightly a slightly deformed oval like so it's maybe not as thick as that but it's fine let's come around and again we're following this this oval almost exclusively until you're just a little bit away from the stick then we've got the circle bit that comes in now we need to imagine it connecting there join it coming around okay like so so that would connect around like that but it's obviously obscured by this stick and then 
this is going to be be coming down like that but because the thumb is there we're not going to see it but then we've got this shape here which comes up and around and then down so it's, it's covered slightly by the thumb not as much as this one but it's just covered slightly just hampered a little bit then in this part around here we've got this this kind of oval shape which is going to be the little finger so it's going to come out and around so this stick needs to come and connect feel like it's connecting in here so it's going through like this so it's going to come round and up like so let's finish that like that so it's going to come round and up then we want to add that little bulge in there like that. I can make it thicken it up slightly. Not too much. Come round like that. Then we have Mickey's hand. Uh, pretty much how it is in the uh, original image. Right, so uh, what we can do is we can add it a little bit. So it's going in slightly, so it's just signifying knuckles slightly. I mean, it was more of a graphic representation in the original one. Let's come off a little bit, just kind of try and show a little bit of anatomy. So we've got this, then we've got the stick. Let's just come this high, like so, add a little bit coming off it. Like that. So we've got Mickey with his stick. Like so. Okay, so as you can see now, I'm blasting through the inking. This is in real time, this inking. I do ink this fast. I'm incredibly fast. So if you want to see more of the my kind of videos on how to draw Mickey throughout the decades, a lot of them are a lot more interesting than this one because we didn't have a lot to go on for the uh, 1960s. But if you want to see those, then just... Uh, click subscribe down below. Click the like button as well. If there's anything you want to ask me, just stick them in the comments. I'll try my best to cover everything. And yeah, this is this is this one's been fun. It's kind of been different. It's, it's been fun. It's just one image this time instead of covering his heads and then uh, going in to do uh, different things like that. So yeah, it's it's been it's been fun. Right. So as you can see, there's the final inked image. And everything is is done and as it should be. It's a very quick ink. Okay, so until next time, have an awesome week. I'll be back next week with the equally rough 70s where Mickey was kind of ostracized from the Disney company somewhat. Right, so have an awesome time. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.